up people how you doing today so car definitely needs to get louder so we got a Megan racing exhaust and uh, it's a three inch cat back and it's finally warm enough to be able to do this install doing it outside in the Sun instead of in the cold garage got my nice drink coaster just in a pile of snow and uh, if you're new to the channel welcome we just hit 200 subscribers thank you so much and uh, here I build my car and haters gonna hate. Catch me outside, how about that? With that said, let's get started. So what we got going on here is a two and a half inch to three inch um, slip fit pipe with some uh, exhaust clamps on there. Then we go to a resonator comes already with a gasket here straight out to the single tip tailpipe got some exhaust hanger uh, tool here so that should make that easier and any tough bolts I got this PB blaster if you have a three inch downpipe it does come with a three inch selection and uh, another three inch clip there for you so we got the catalytic converter right there to the mid pipe. These two bolts right here, I have a 17, there are 17 millimeter bolts. So they're gonna come off. Hanger right there. Got a resonator and then that suitcase of a muffler back there. Ooh. Yep, uh, that's getting heavier as the exhaust falls on me. Oh man. hanger was just a pain so I just unbolted it from the frame because that's not even going to be used with this exhaust now I know you want to hear this open down pipe I haven't wanted to do this since I bought the car let's do it Dad kind of helped me, so I held the, the exhaust up and I can bolt it up there. It was a little bit tricky. But now I just got the last part fitting the gasket onto this part and the last hanger right there. Let's get it. This was the sketchiest part of the install because this is where the exhaust leak, if there's going to have one, it's going to be right here. And uh, the problem was that this new pipe and the old pipe were sliding in and out. But I eventually got it, so you, re you have to tighten down both 100% and uh, make sure they're really in there in order for it to totally work. In this frame, you can actually see that there is going to be an exhaust leak, which there was. On the left side here, there was an exposed part of the pipe and uh, the clamps weren't tightened down completely all the way. So after starting it up and feeling around, I had to go back and loosen both these bolts up, straighten them out and push the pipe in further and had to use like a hammer to tap it in so it could be fully sealed as much as possible.
Alright, I'm about to go for my first drive with the new exhaust installed. Car is up to temperature so I can beat on this thing. There's a bunch of kids sledding right here. Some mom gave me the like a bad look, that was funny. This is what a GTI is supposed to sound like. Come on Volkswagen, what are you doing? Getting no grip, there's so much salt on the road. Windows are closed, just going for a leisurely drive. Nah. of the line it feels like a whole new car and I'm falling in love with the GTI all over again thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one